Hello guys, Dr. Patrick Price here and welcome to today. Relax because nothing is under control. That is the, the phrase of today. Uh, usually I use this phrase to mark a retrograde, but it's not marked retrograde, but this is pretty much the world today because if you watch the news, please turn it off. You're only going to stress work. There's nothing you can do about what's happening in the world except what you can do in your own mind, your own body. So the idea is to relax and take your own life and have control what you do with yourself. You should have control of your thoughts, of your feelings. And I always say to master one's emotions is your key thing of being on this earth. If there's ever reason to be alive on planet earth today, is not to just necessarily have a certain job. It's not just to raise a family. It's not just to be a son, be a daughter, be a mother, be a father, be a grandparent. Every individual has a mission here. You have this physical body. And in this physical body, there is a spirit. So your spirit inside this body is having a human experience. Think about that for a second. Your, your spirit is viewing what it's like to be human. So yeah, people get confused. They don't know how to act. They don't know how to react. They don't know what it's like here sometimes because you're having a human experience. People can be mean. People can be ugly. They can be, they can betray you. People can be self-serving. And that's where there's two types of people in the world. Two types of people mean there's one of us who is always giving. A very giving person. And there's the other person who's a person who's always receiving or let's say taking. So either you're living a very selfish life and it's all about you or you're living a very giving life and it's all about others. Now I don't mean just completely give yourself and do nothing for you but if you're constantly giving you will be receiving that I promise. The more and more I find that I give to others and give freely of my time, my will, my energy, my knowledge, my information Instead of keeping things secret and hidden, since I know some very interesting things, I teach them. I reveal them to the public and I share to those who have eyes to see and ears to hear. Because many of us will be like this or this. They don't want to hear. They don't want to see. Right? Look what's going on around the world right now. I'm vaccinated. I'm not vaccinated. Right? So that's immediately a conflict of interest. Who cares? Relax. Nothing is under your control. It's all about your beliefs. And your beliefs with yourself, how you're raised, the faith you have. I'm Buddhist. I'm Taoist. I'm Christian. I'm Muslim. I'm Jewish. The list goes on. Those beliefs will either create a happy life for yourself or create a life of constriction and frustration around others. And believe me, if there's only one religion that's correct, why are we not all studying that religion? And guys, just for a second, I look at religion in one way. It's like an education. As a kid, you're, you're taught away. You go to school, you go to high school, and then in college you graduate. And once you graduate college, once you graduate your religion, then you go on your own way. Now, many may not have a belief this way, but I personally do, that then you have a direct connection to God yourself, to creator, if you will. So you yourself have a direct relationship and communication with God yourself. Got that? Don't throw stones at me. Okay. That is my belief. Whatever you believe in, I'm not sure. But are you happy with your life? Is your life smooth? Do you feel like you're at the nucleus of your life? And everything goes on around you. And that way, being that nucleus, when you find that peaceful place in life, you're in the center and the world goes on around you and you can engage in any place you choose to within that circle. But if you're out here, caught up in the chaos, the world is simply taking you in a circle. You do not have control over your life. But I'm telling you, 
You can't control your mind. You can't control your thoughts. You must master your emotions. If there's one thing on this earth that you're here to do, besides all the other things we mentioned before, it is to learn to master each emotion as it comes up. And what I mean by that is, what one emotion in your life right now controls you? Frustration, anger, resentment, sadness, depression. What emotion do you find when you wake up in the day and you feel it immediately? Frustration is an easy one with what's been going on in the world. Small businesses being shut down while multinationals stay open. That can be frustrating. It just doesn't seem fair, does it? But it's how you view the world around you and how you analyze it. How it makes you feel tight or loose is what it's really about. Sure, if your living is being threatened, that thing can be quite stressful. We can externally try everything we want to keep things going, keep the ball rolling. You have others to support. You have more responsibilities. But it matters most is that you stay neutral in that moment. When you hear the most stressful thing there is, the most news that makes you uh, unstable in a way, financially, in your relationships, your career, you have to find a way to get back to self, no matter what it is, guys. Go deep within self and find that peace. Now, maybe a meditation does that. Maybe a breathing exercise. Maybe Qigong. Maybe Tai Chi. Maybe a, who knows what it is. Maybe it's gardening. That one patient, when she gardens, her whole world disappears. It's like an escape into another world with the plant world. Because you have the four kingdoms, right? The minerals, the plants, the animals, and then we have the humans. That's the four kingdoms. So be at harm, harmony in your own life with yourself, to me, is most important. If you have harmony with yourself and you have balance, this physical body is completely pain-free. If you have pain anywhere, well, Dr. Price, I had a trauma. Of course, I got in a car wreck. Uh, my horse threw me off. I was run over by a car. Whichever it is, okay. So temporarily, you went through something to create change. I have a very good friend, and he's probably watching this video right now. He was run over by a car, and he was on a motorcycle. So who do you think won, the motorcycle or the car? Uh, the car, obviously, is much bigger. It won. So being a very good friend of mine, he's having a very big life lesson right now. And like him, I understand I went through so much pain in my life at one time with physical injuries, traumatizing my body to the highest level you could possibly be in pain. And it was for me to overcome myself. But it was for me to look deeper in myself, look at the emotions that were involved, all the blockages I had. My beliefs were a certain way that was causing me pain. Because remember, your beliefs are what gets you in trouble, guys. If you believe this is it, and this is the way it should be, and it's not going the way that your belief says it should be, then you're going to have some suffering. Now, you can choose to suffer the rest of your life, or you can choose to do something different. Believe it or not, you can actually alter your beliefs. Wow, imagine that. No matter what you believed growing up as a kid, you may find out as you get older, that didn't make a lot of sense. And so you can alter your beliefs. You can change your beliefs. This doesn't go against God, the creator, your, your faith. It may go against a religion. And let me tell you how that may go against your religion. Ask a Muslim this to eat this gravy that has pork in it. Well, that is haram. Jewish also. You will die with this. I mean, I'm joking, but the idea, it's very against their rules. But what if they ate something and it was in there and they survived and were okay? Does that make you spiritually less than? Does it make your faith less than? It's all about your beliefs. Now, I'm not asking to go out and eat some pork and bacon, whatever, but you go to Louisiana, there's a whole lot of pigs frying on some skillets right about now where I'm from. Does that mean they're bad people? Does that mean their faith is being tested? What does that really mean? It just means there's completely different beliefs in the world, guys. And one thing for sure, besides relaxing, is do respect other people's beliefs, which I do. I respect what you believe in, right or wrong. Even if, to the, even if you hold a belief to your grave to the time they put you back in the dirt, that you hold a belief that you know is wrong, but you think it's correct, 
that's okay. That's your belief. But with me, if there's a belief that I don't feel is correct, there's a tightness, there's a pain that will come to my body, and I know it's a correction that I personally need to make. My elbow used to hurt me before I got married. The day I got married, guess what? My elbow pain went away. What does elbows tell us? Resisting change. Yes, I was resisting change like a lot of us. But yet, here I am. So, my challenge to you today is where do you hurt on your body? Your ears, your head, your eyes, your jaw, your shoulders, your elbows, your back, my neck, knees, ankles. What is aching on your body? That will tell you where you're stuck. That will tell you where you need to alter a belief. Now, if you think, well, it's just an accident. Well, accidents are also things that happen to us to let you know that you're just off your path. It's like getting hit from behind in a car. Life is telling you to move forward. You are stuck. Well, I've been hit from behind uh, three times this year, Dr. Price, by cars. What does that tell you? You are stuck. Move forward. Of course, the cars run head on collisions. You're going the wrong way. Turn around. So accidents tell us a lot about our life and about our emotions and how things are working for us. If you pay attention to your pains, you pay attention to your life, you pay attention to the tightness in your body, you will find the answers. But you must pay attention. If from the neck down, you feel nothing. I don't feel anything because you're numb. You've disconnected yourself from your emotions and disconnected yourself away from your body. You must reconnect yourself to feel your body once again, painful or not. If you're just sticking it in the closet, it doesn't work. Because sooner or later, that closet door is going to open and all that's going to just fall right out on top of your head. So guys, my message is very simple. You're here to master your emotions. I'm going to ask you to find one emotion a month. Now, maybe one a week, but one emotion a month starting today and find out what emotion is ruling your life. What emotion do you keep going to? Well, Dr. Price, that's not me. I'm fine. If you're fine, that means you're simply not paying attention to yourself because that old shaman told me years ago, the human emotions is like a five-gallon bucket of water, but it's muddy. You take a spoonful out of that muddy water, put a spoonful of clear water back in there, how long does it take that bucket to get clear again? That is the human emotions. It will take a lifetime, guys. So please, find out what it is. Work on yourself. Neutralize that emotion. And watch your body change. Watch your life change. Watch yourself become this nucleus. And get into what I call in life, the flow. Guys, I'm Dr. Price. Have a wonderful day. Find your flow.